Vivian Glasman playing the right, Brooke Buckner playing the right as well on the receive. Buckner and Jesse Irvin on the attack oh, yeah. first. So it's actually wrong. Brooke is going to be playing the right. I said she. I thought she was going to be playing the left, but Jesse is more than capable on that side as well. She prefers the right. Yeah. The line goes Glasman, but in order for Brooke Buckner to have success on the right, what does she need out of the left side partner? I think Jesse's just got to really set up the point for her. Uh, as long as Brooke is making a bunch of balls and being super consistent, I think that's going to free Jesse up to kind of be more consistent and kind of, you know, be able to speed up and, and, and be a little more aggressive. You know, you're usually you're more aggressive when you when you have confidence in your right side player to, to be making a lot of balls. Right out, one, two. Two, two. Oh, oh. Oh. Off the tape to Vivian Glassman. Three, two. Easy ball for Rachel Rohrbacher to close on. SEC champion of the University of South Carolina. We'll take a break off the tape too. So for Carolina, it's almost a guaranteed match win if you can find a win for women's or Colin Johnson mixed. I'd love to have that and secure that here. Yeah. Oh, Jesse Irvin had DC on a thread, couldn't capitalize. Yeah, I think for Carolina, if they can sweep this one out and go up 2 0, I think that. That puts, puts them in a great spot to kind of dominate this matchup. Because you have Ben Johns waiting in his almost a guaranteed win and mix, regardless of matchup. Four, five. from Central Park. When you turned pro back in 2022, did you imagine this? Not Landscape. quite. Not quite. This is pretty impressive, just being able to be in the in the heart of the city in Central Park. It's just so amazing being here in New York, the energy, and to have pickleball here is just amazing. Beautiful finishing touch on the backhand of Jesse Irvin. Five, seven. Buckner thought she got it just outside the baseline. Eight, five. I'm always so impressed on, on you know, how MLP and PPA just transform these areas, you know, putting up stands and and just being able to put a court anywhere. I think yeah. it's, it's it's awesome, and, and you know, the people working behind the scenes work so hard to, you know, to make it look so good. Good. 
Yeah, I think Jesse really has got to, you know, pick and choose those right balls to speed up. I think otherwise it's just being consistent, moving the ball around, getting the ball to land in the kitchen, and just wait for that right opportunity. A little bit of wind here, so you got to be very careful. They've got to try to minimize shots like that, kind of, kind of forcing things. Um, I think if they can do that, just start making balls. Just get that, try to find that rhythm. Nice shade that time for Glasman, one step ahead of the play. Seven, seven. Change ends at 13. Nice lob from Rohrbacher. Yeah. Irvin tracks it down and Rohrbacher sets up the close. We saw a lot of that in the final last weekend too on Sunday from Miss Rohrbacher. That's a great, great speed up on that backhand, it's not, you notice it's not super hard. It was kind of a 70% speed up. Sometimes those are, are the toughest to handle. Dial, point eight. Eight, 12. Just deep on the return for Vivian Glasman. Remember you do have Several challenges to use each game, each match, excuse me. Three in total. Yeah. And Major League Pickleball could Rachel handle her own on the left and with a different teammate that's not Anna Bright. Well, I think she has silenced any critics that exist for that conversation. Look at her go there. Wow. Amazing speed there. She's, she's really kind of holding that backhand very well. Good defense from Viv Glosman. A good finish by Rachel. Glossman doing a great job of kind of waiting for that right ball. She's doing a good job of speeding 15, up nine. that backhand in the middle, which you don't see that often from the right side player. But it seems to be effective. Yeah. And Rachel Rohrbacher again pulling Urban off the kitchen with the lob, testing the mobility. 16-9. Such an effective use of it. You. Go. Great leave from Vivian Glasman. Glasman, of course, has that reach on the right side and the consistency of the forehand roll. That's a valuable asset. That's why this team traded for her back in June. Bogman is actually one of the few using her height on the right. She's actually able to produce offense with that backhand in the middle, which you don't usually see that often. You're kind of just speeding up from, from maybe the forehand side. So I think that's a huge asset in her game. Good eye, wow. This game just getting out of control on the side of DC, just as quickly as the men won it in game one for Carolina. It's not easy when you have, you know, Viv and Rachel just both making a lot of balls and just kind of dominating, really, really speeding up on the right shots. Start out point 10. 10, 19. Gotta be careful in this format if the, if the score kind of starts to get running away from you. 
kind of hard to get back sometimes. There is a freeze at 24. But... There by Viv Glosman. Just a little bit wide. 13, 20. Carolina starting to inch their way back here. Buckner was there in response. Timeout called by the DC. Just, you know, to have pickleball here and, and, and all these people, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just going to keep ramping up all weekend. Yeah! And another one and a roar from Jesse Irvin, Carolina, right back in game two. Game to 25 changes the landscape. Rohrbacher squawks one back <laughs> on the miss of Jesse Irvin. Good response. Rachel's not, not afraid to get loud out there, show that energy. It's a big, important part of MLP, keeping that energy up for your team. Brooke Buckner wanting that one back. A little bit off there. Especially as you head into the red zone of the 20s. That's a sitter for Vivian Glosman to clean up. But they're not happy with that one either. I would say in, in, in MLP, I, I think if it's like a deficit more than seven, I think that's when it starts getting very difficult, difficult to come back because every single point matters. Rachel Rohrabacher, and that was what was different in Atlanta last weekend in my mind. She was consistent with that firepower. It came back and she was right on it. And speed at an all-time high for Rohrabacher. That's deep for Carolina. DC takes the second 25-16 on center court. Game one, time in, zero, zero. Yeah, Bar has probably one of the biggest serves in pickleball. He really uses that height and kind of is, plays on the edge of, of, of how high it is and whether it's illegal or not. He says it is. Firefight early, Ben Johns finds the baseline. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very interesting match. James and Deckel bring a lot of power. And you have Colin and Ben who are just, they can just make every single ball that they hit.
Yeah. Wow, what a point for Tekla Brar and James Ivanovich. DC will take the serve and the point back. Hello, everybody. Happy again to be with you on this Thursday afternoon. Perfect weather conditions today in New York City. There's that fire, little firefight. Deckel bringing the power. I think you're going to see. 22, 10. Everybody, we apologize for the technical difficulties here in game one. As you can see, the Johns brothers making a run for it. 22, 10 on Deckel Bar and James Ignatowicz. And the DC. Um, as you see at the score, 23, 10. Just, I don't know, James and, and Deckel seem a little bit off. They're not really. Uh, dominating the points, or, or I, I think Ben's just doing a great job of speeding up and really taking them out of the match. Um, and, and they're they're doing their their best right now to try to figure it out, but it seems not like it may be a little bit too late. That's the voice of Yates Johnson. I'm Michelle McMahon. Yates made a deep run at the Grand Slam event on the PPA side last weekend in Atlanta. And so did the Johns brothers. They took home gold. Back on top. Another nice ball from Ben Johns, that two-handed backhand wicked on the far angle and a game point for Carolina. Good answer back there for Deco Bar. Let's see if they can. It's quite the deficit, but we'll see if they can inch their way back. And of course, the rules here in MLP, you have to win on your serve. Well, Probably scoring games to 25, win by two. Just wide for Ignatowicz, testing the line of Ben Johns, game point number two for the Johns brothers. Two. Just why the Johns will take it there, 25-12. The Johns brothers back in dominant fashion. Have they evolved? I'm still sticking with it. I love it. For okay. game three. Time in, zero, zero. Rachel Rohrbacher will start us off with first serve, looking to recreate her magic from last Sunday. And Ben John says good night on that ball. Can't pop that up to that area specifically. Very few areas you can go above the waist on him, but definitely not there. Yeah, that's not. Gotta be very careful there. She knows it. Ben Johns, he's playing excellent pickleball today so far. He played great against New York. Two, Couldn't come up with a team win, but he won his games. Ben John's playing well, shocking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's one shot I think we're gonna be seeing a lot from James Ignatowicz there. He's got such a strong wrist. He really reaches out far. And he, he is, I'd say he has one, one of the two. best backhand flicks in the game power-wise. He's really able to create a lot on that side. So Ben is definitely going to be careful in that, that way. James Ignatowicz. Oh, it's good. Rohrbacher looks like she's questioned. Or whether the call is in or out, you're always able to go to that system. 
he was out. Wow. Wow. What eyes I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going off based, based off uh, Ben's reaction. I think he knew it right when he hit it. Just a little bit wide. Good call for DC. Challenging and taking a little break here. Result of the rally, the ball is confirmed out. Carolina will lose one free video challenge with two remaining. DC has three video challenges. Three free video challenges remaining. We'll resume play at 4-4. So Carolina's charged one of their free challenges. You get three per match. Might as well use them. Irvin pulls it from the transition area off the court too. Six four. James Ignatowicz takes over. Don't get caught in that crossfire. to bail out James on his way to the Ernie. Have another look at this one. James did a great job. He's just outside the court, and he is actually able to, to get back without <laughs> having his feet in the kitchen. Last minute scramble from DC to tie wow. it at six. Unreal effort there. Get in. And it's interesting with this, with this scoring, anything can happen. Every point counts. I think it does help you when you are playing those better players. It kind of evens the playing field just a little bit. Yeah. Wow, that wow. was a problem for Irvin and women's doubles. Same to be true here in Knicks. A great setup there, that whole point by Rachel. She was testing Ben seven, seven. behind him to his backhand, and she's just making every single dink, executing that lob perfectly. specific area. Not a lot he can do, but just laugh at that one. Just <laughs> being thankful it didn't hit him right in the family jewels. <laughs> wow. I like that shot from James. Not a backhand, it's actually forehand grip, but he hits it on the backhand side. Yeah. And flipping that paddle over. What do you think work is working so far on the game plan side hey, for DC hey. after this serve from Rachel? You know, I think it's all going to depend on James. Right now, he's being very aggressive and it's paying off. He's also making a lot of balls. I think Rachel is doing a great job of being super consistent, dinking very well. Kind of, she's doing a great job of setting up James, and I think it's a 
keep staying on this and keep pressuring Carolina and, and kind of taking Ben out of it a little bit, I think they have a really good chance. James, if he gets hot, can be very dangerous. See continuing to heat up two point leads hey, hey. back on their side here at the Hertz MLP New York City event. Ben doing a great job of holding that ball. He's so good at disguising these shots and kind of waiting for the last second to, to redirect the ball behind his opponents. DC has got to do a very good job here of managing errors. If against people like Ben Johns, you cannot give him anything because he will take it. Great shot by Rachel Rohrbacher. Really pushing Jesse back on that dink. Jesse does a good job of reaching in. She's got some long arms, really, really good at taking the ball out of the air. And Rachel doing a good job of managing that. Oh. Great response from Ben. Bounce there. James. That's just back for Rachel Rohrbacher and then Caroline. Four day events. 12 premier level teams. Not all in action here in New York. Majority are. Jesse Irvin pressuring Ignatowicz down the line. All these teams are vying for a spot. Only six will advance to this year's playoffs, which will take place in November. from Jesse Irvin to correct her shot right after she buried that one into the net. Two-point lead still continues for Carolina. I think Jesse wanted an ATP there, but it wasn't quite there, and, and I don't think she knew there wasn't really a lot of options. Yeah, what else could you do with that ball, I guess? Just dig it back in. Kind of scoop it and just get that ball over the net. But if and then Vegas and Miami on the schedule as well. The month of October, and it's playoff time. And it's not easy. We have almost like five weeks on, one week off. Five weeks on, one week off. But it's a lot of wear and tear on the body. But hey, we get to play pickleball for a living, so no complaints. Great point. It's better than sitting at a desk. It's a great reminder. Good perspective. going to miss first. Wow. Good night from Rachel Rohrbach. A very patient, patient point between those two at the net. 
Ben is wondering if that might have gone wide. I don't think either of them saw it, but. There was no call made, so you can't challenge it. That's the difference in MLP versus PPA, where an in ruling can be challenged. bit there. Ben was expecting that ball to bounce up a little bit more. I didn't talk much about his ankle injury too. He's still not playing at 100% on that right ankle as it taped up and a brace on it to limit the motion. Or any risk of turning it over again. Mm -hmm. It's a nice overhead by Jesse right. Irvin. Yeah, I think with that that ankle injury, it's definitely easier to manage in doubles and mixed. Uh, definitely harder in singles. Luckily, MLP is heavier on the, the doubles and mixed side. Singles only happening when you go to Dream Breaker. sequence to get your son going. Just absolute chaos. Maybe a little bit of controlled chaos there. James able to recover. <laughs> Protect that right side. Wow. Left side Rohrbacher. You can switch in the middle of a rally like that with sides, but in order to permanently stay on a different side like you do with MLP, that has to take place at a timeout. You can still stack. to clean up, but a great position created by Jesse Irvin out wide on the dink. Walker was on the run, nowhere else to go but middle. That was a great dink by Jesse, kind of keeping it down and through the court. Not wide enough to create harm with an ATP. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> That's too good by Ben Johns. Rachel doing a great job, as you see, of, of hitting and recovering, ready for that next shot. But Ben was just a little more on it than she was. That ball just drops in barely on the baseline. Wow. Great hands by James Ignatowicz. I was talking about that a little bit earlier. He's got probably one of the hardest counters, mm -hmm. back counters in the game. Ben Johns has the best flip and speed ups in the game by far. Fun to watch them battle, battle it out here. What does that counter power come from for James Nedwich? Like, why is it more powerful from him than somewhere else? You know, he is a little bit on the taller side, probably 6'2". He's got some long arms, but I, I think it's just, I don't know, maybe the strength in the shoulder, being able to kind of punch it out. He's got also a really, really strong wrist. I've actually talked to him. He, ha he does a lot of bands and, and, and grip strength exercises. Um, I think that has a has a big big reason why he's strong there. Someone like J.W. Johnson as well. You look at his hands and his wrists, very, very strong. Um, I think that has, plays a huge part in being, being able to produce that power. Go head to head like that with Ben. Ben, Ben almost 
is unattackable sometimes. I think Rachel's got to keep it to Jesse and kind of see what she can do. Try to set up James Ignatowicz maybe a little bit, a little bit more. Try to get him to speed up. There's that backhand flick from Ben Johns. Absolutely world class. Promising. And Ben Johns delivered. Ooh, that serve was close. Wow. Lucky net there. DC not mad about it. DC loses this game. We are going to a dream breaker is my prediction. I never know. Depends, depends which Colin Johns shows up. See if his mixed game can elevate. firefight there. You notice Ben is kind of on his heels there. James is leaning in the kitchen on the balls of his feet, kind of being the aggressor there. 22, 23. One, one too many good shots for him against Ben. Yeah. Wow. Tie game, and there is the counter pace right on cue from Ignatowicz. 23 all, crunch time. Games to 25, win by two, and on your serve. You know, I like I like that speed up from Ben, but but not ag not against James. Yeah. Not when he's feeling that that backhand counter. Yeah. And Rachel Warbacher punishes that shot right there from Ben Johns. Game and point real. for DC. She stayed so balanced and so level there. To speed up that ball perfectly. going to step aside for just a moment. DC with a chance to close this out after the break. We'll see if they can do it or if this is going to singles next. To play, but I think I think Deckel with the firepower and, and Viv with the firepower as well and the consistency. I think I'm going to go DC again. I'm going to double down. All right. Opening point will go to Carolina. And I'd love to get your thoughts on where Collins' game needs to evolve to and next also to have success. Nice ball by Glasman down the line. So he's evolved in men's doubles, obviously, matching the pace that the game has now evolved to. You know the game better than anyone at the mixed level. So tell us your thoughts there. You know, I mean, Collins is probably one of the one of the better guys on the right side. He's just he's owned his role there. He's accepted it, and he's and his defense is incredible. I think. Where it lacks maybe in mix is is being able to change that mind, sh like the shift of being a left side player and, and being consistent, but also being able to produce power and speed ups and and just kind of initiating the point. And you just really got to rely on your 
on your female on the right side to kind of cover you and, and, and do her job as well. Nice play from Colin. No pull from the ankle to the hip of Vivian Glasman. And he's brought a lot more offense on that right side with Ben Johns lately too. Yeah, he's definitely changed his game a little bit from, from being kind of passive and defensive to kind of being a little more aggressive on the right side, just like a lot of right side guys are kind of developing, such as such as Dave Tardio, Dylan Frazier. They're they're some of the two right side best best guys in the game, and they're and they're starting to be a little more aggressive and and dominant on the right side instead of being passive. I can imagine that would assist too in that more instigating aggressive game and mix too. And I think Colin is de definitely more than capable. He's he's very creative. He's got a lot of really good defense. It's just whether or not he can kind of turn that into offense and, and be the aggressor instead of kind of being the def defensive player. Side out, point four. I think it's just a different role, and you just have to fall into it. And he's definitely more than capable for sure. Definitely not an easy team to do that against. Deckel Barr brings a lot of consistency, a lot of power. He's a big guy, covers a lot of court. Partnered up with Viv Glosman. She as well brings her own firepower and really kind of falling into her own as a pickleball player. Conversation begins between Gall and Johns. It's a never-ending battle, I'll tell you that. And there's a funny bit on social media right now. Bye -bye. <laughs> Impersonating Colin's antics with the left cords in the net. Colin actually making fun of himself. Yes, which is why kind it's of owning even it. better. I love it. Getting a bunch of the other Yola players to, to jump in and give it give it their best shot. Side out, point six. Behind you, and Brooke Buckner as well is doing a great job on that right side. Very consistent. She definitely doesn't lack any power, that's for sure. I like the aggression from Colin John. Just a little bit too much. That ball got a little lower than he expected. Six, six. three-point lead. They need it in order to push a dream breaker. They would love revenge on DC, who cleaned up in the dream breaker earlier this season, 21-11 in Washington, DC. Yeah. Great hands by Deckel Barr there. And Johns and Deckel Barr, good friends Eight, off the court, too. It's not easy to go go against your friends sometimes, but most everyone is pretty good at kind of putting that aside, you know, competing well, playing hard, and then you, you can go back to being friends after. Right 
tries to create some offense, gets robbed by the tape. 9-11. Server. Wow, Deco Bar just, just standing there pretty calm. They're just Ten going goal. at him, and he's just putting his paddle there, doing a great job of defending that. A little bit lucky, I think, that ball was going out, but hit Brooke Buckner's ball. Get ready. Four o'clock. Got it, got it, got it. A great aggressive play from Colin Johns. Yeah, He's I really like and following up. I really like the speed of that. He's not hitting the ball for a winner. It's really kind of 70% setting up that next ball. It's always the best players are, are really setting up the shot for that next ball. You know, 70 percent maybe that ball that next ball is gonna come a little higher and then you finish it off. I think Colin did a great job there. Nice bit. Come on, come on, come on, go, go. Right, I have Oh, denied. Just the ball stayed on that net forever. What about that one, Colin? Where's the reaction? Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're going to give the net grief for when it doesn't work in right, your favor, you've right. got to, I would imagine, yeah, pay it back when it does. He's celebrating that one on the inside. <laughs> Nice man. Come up with like a Colin John celebration court situation when it works for him. Maybe just a quiet turn and a little, <laughs> little fist bump. <laughs> Pumping yourself up. Good eye by Viv Glosman. Good speed up and letting that next ball go. Let's see if DC can inch their way back here. Wow, Viv Glosman coming in hot. Going from the two handed speed up to finishing it off with the one. You don't see a lot of the women doing the one handed speed up, but with her reach. Her kind of tennis background, she's able to do that. Something she's been working on lately. Oh. <laughs> Deco Bar for giving his partner for that one. advising Vivian Glasman intently after that ball goes long. What might you think he's suggesting on her side? If you had to guess. You know, just being, I, I think just kind of staying in the match, being being picky and choosing. Wow, great counter there. They're just making better decisions. Especially any out ball, just really getting out of the way of that. 15-19. Answer from Colin Johns. Deckel doing a good job of speeding up, but Colin Johns answers back, getting that ball down. 20, 15. Nice, 
the one for now. Welcome back to the Hertz MLP New York City event. Colin Johns and Brooke Buckner looking to extend the match to a fifth deciding game in singles. They lost a heartbreaker earlier today to the home team, the New York Hustlers, in singles in a dream breaker. Light on the sign of DC who called the timeout ahead of the brief commercial break to discuss. I think DC's got a kind of runway left with Rowley scoring. He's gonna find it, needs to be soon. Glossman getting around in that backhand Ernie with the finish from Deckel Bar. Great point all around there. 18, Buckner doing a great job of just getting that extra ball back, but just not enough with that overhead from Deckel Bar. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC doing a great job of kind of using that momentum and, and changing to being the aggressors. That's what's most important here in this in this format is you gotta pull the trigger first in those yeah. big moments. Great string of points for DC here, bringing it within two. Best decision from Deckel Bar there. Not easy. On these courts, the ball, the ball bounced a little low and it kind of sped up. CJ had a good answer for that. Chance to earn a game point here for Carolina. Again, Glossman will hold off that thought for now. Looking to compound it on the serve of Glossman. 21, Excuse me, a deckle bar. Go, go. Wow, Rob was handled by Colin Johns, and deckle bar had to earn one more ball to put it away. Unreal. Colin Johns goes to that lefty. Lefty overhead. You see, he Back is within one. He is ambidextrous. He used to play tennis that way. Two points. Yeah. Wow, it is. Before that. Johns goes Glassman, and we have a match point from out of nowhere for DC. Unbelievable disguise there. Really using that length like we were talking about before. Great change of direction. the tape for Glossman. She can't get a hold of it. Tie game. Carolina survives. A match point. Yeah, Glossman really probably wanting that one back. 24, 24. Got lucky with that first net cord, but unlucky on that next one. Another one. Oh my gosh. Colin, 
Oh, not happy on that one. You can just see it in his face. <laughs> was maybe thinking there was, a, there was a hat throw coming. Not yet. Maybe soon. Match point number two for DC. Oh my. Another one. Oh, just wide. Let's see how many left courts there are to close out this one. Second match point saved by Carolina. Goodness, missed third from Brooke Buckner will earn back match point number three for DC. Ian Glasman aiming to close it out. Watch. Watch. Oh no. Colin got that ball a lot lower than Decker thought. Great idea crossing, using that pressure, but too good from Colin Johns. 26, 26. Match points denied by Carolina. Let's see if they can get game point here on their side. No, they won't. Another missed third. Oh. And what you resist persists, Colin Johns. So this net needs to become your friend, is all I got to say. <laughs> he's, he's talking to himself quite a bit now. It's ramping up as the match is closer and closer. Match point number four for DC. No! And it's long. DC will take the match in for a dramatic comeback for Vivian Glasman and Deco Barr to take it off Carolina. Another heartbreaker on the side of Carolina, but what impressed you the most about that comeback we just saw? You know, I thought I thought DC did an amazing job of, of switching from being that passive and kind of a little bit de defensive and just making balls to really being the aggressors, pulling the trigger first, setting up those next shots. I think they did an incredible job and a little tight in the end there, but they were able to finish and get it done. Wow. What an impressive performance, and not to be overshadowed by Rachel Rohrbacher and James Ignatowicz and the, the work that they did over Ben Johns and Jesse Irvin. It's just that the disappointment continues on the side of Carolina. What will continue to inspire them after taking some early losses here this tournament real quick, Yates? You know, for Carolina, I think they just need to regroup and just and just try to try to get together and restart again. All right, coming up, we are heading to Tennis Channel, top of the hour as our coverage continues of the Hertz MLP New York City event. We've got the New York Hustlers taking on the Utah Black Diamonds. You don't want to miss the action. Yates will go to his clinic, and Dave Fleming will join me in the booth next.